Hi everybody, Joe at Joe's Saber Shop here. I know it's been a long time since we've done a video or any kind of an update, and I'd like to share with you my new project today. Uh, I've seen the new Force Unleashed, or Force, or the Last Jedi movie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I really liked it. Personally, I really liked Kylo Ren, Ren's original lightsaber. And I've seen quite a few people on YouTube and stuff that have painting tutorials and things like that to upgrade a cheaper plastic blade builder's lightsabers and stuff to be a more accurate Kylo Ren. And I've decided that I want the original Kylo Ren lightsaber, blue blade and uh, no cross guards. So we're taking this, the cheap, the cheapest one I've seen on the market anyway, but Kylo Ren's cross guard lightsaber. It's one of these blade builder ones. I ended up getting mine on sale at Fred Meyers. Prices are probably gonna vary depending on where you live. And uh, we're gonna hack the cross guards off of this and remove this fake wire, fill in a lot of this stuff, and we're gonna turn this into Kylo Ren's original blue lightsaber. And we're gonna use some electronics. We're going to just make this a stunt saber. Pretty much you'd be able to go get your average Dollar Tree flashlight and get most of the components you're gonna need for what we're doing to, uh, in these videos. This is gonna probably be at least three to four parts altogether. I just wanted to get this initial uh, start to the project and stuff on a video and out to you guys. Possibly give you guys some I er, ideas and you know, uh, comment with pictures and stuff if you've already done this. I haven't been able to find anything on the internet, honestly. I've found one 3D rendering somebody had done. So if you've already done this, I'd really like to know, and I'd like to see how you did it. Uh, I will be doing some pictures and stuff on the Facebook page, as well as these uh, three to four videos. We're gonna be repainting this thing, pretty much reworking the entire thing, and then we're gonna make it a stunt saber. And like I said, mainly we're just going to be using one of these simple Dollar Tree $1 flashlights. It's just a plastic flashlight. You get three AAA battery pack, uh, a button out of the bottom end of it, which it, any button will really do. Um, we're probably only going to use one screw, maybe two, in this entire build. But we'll see how that goes. Things are going to change as we start to build these. I have enough components here to actually make two. Uh, I may be joined in a later video with a friend who's going to uh, build another one uh, side by side with me and we'll be at different progressions throughout the build and possibly try new things between the two and see what kind of turns out better depending on, you know, like I said, I'd really like your guys' feedback, you know, in the comments and stuff or post a video and tag me or something like that. I don't know exactly how YouTube works, but... <laughs> Our main component's really going to be an adapter we're going to build using just a chunk of PVC pipe with a one inch inside diameter. And I use polycarbonate blades with all of my lightsabers, just one inch inside diameter. And I do my own day blades using just colored uh, cellophane from Dollar Tree. Actually, I've just got a bunch of clear blades. I paid a dollar a roll and I'm able to make about six blades or worth of film out of one roll from Dollar Tree. So these, you know, still shine light through. I will be adjusting the layers. This is a little bit too dark for Kylo Ren's lightsaber if you have seen the new movie. Uh, I warning, there probably will be spoilers here and there, you know, accidental. And I apologize to anybody who isn't ready to hear it. But, so that's our first installment of this video. We'll get back to you after this has been disassembled and stuff. Everybody's seen that. Don't think you need to watch it again.